Hey guys, Sean Kadevsky here, and first things first, I gotta say, as always, um, if you have not seen this episode of The Tester, which is episode th sorry, I should have said that first, um, this is a review for episode 3, or season 3, episode 5, sorry, I'm really off today, this is, a, this is a review for episode 5 of season 3 of The Tester, if you have not seen it yet, of course, go watch it first, and then come back to this video, because it's awesome. Anyway guys, so, first things first, I gotta say that I, I, not a huge fan of it. No, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I, I liked the episode. It was it was um interesting to watch. I mean, some of the times I was just like, "What are you doing?" It, it was really it was a really good episode. I mean, it was a really good episode. I mean, it was. It, honestly, I sort of noticed a pattern. Now, with the people who go home that episode, it's normally them that talk the most in the um subtexts of the episode. Like like when they cut off, um from the actual video to the person who's just talking alone, it, it seems like that person is that, that, that they cut off to the most is the person that goes home. It's been like for the it's been like that for the past couple of episodes. And like the person who talks the most right before the elimination has been the person that's gone home. That's really kind of annoying me. Cause I, it was just like, wow, I, I'm noticing this, even though I don't even know who's going on. I was like, I noticed that and I was like, wow, I know who's going home now. Um like, it, it could have been either one of them, of course, but, like, it was sort of like, I'm, 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 I know who's going on. <laughs> also, because I saw a, um, a slight spoiler before I watched the episode, it wasn't even in the comments, I was, uh, I got a, like, a text message from Twitter saying something, like, a oh, quadra monster posted something, which was, like, uh, kind of made it very obvious who left, and I only read half of what she said, because I did, was like, wait, what about spoilers? And I was like, ah. Oh. It kind of was a spoiler, but anyway, back to the actual episode. Okay, so first, first things first. Wow, I keep saying that. What? I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> now the episode started off. You know, of course, everybody was really sad because like some two two great guys went home, and you know, of course, like you know, everybody was really sad. So and then, and then it just cut straight to the um, like the them reading the thing like always, and then. <laughs> and then they got to pick their teams, and I thought that was interesting, um, because I I, haven't, I don't think we've seen many of those lately. Uh, I don't think we've seen any of those um, that I can remember. I don't think I've seen any of those that like you get to pick your teams like like without a team without a team captain. Like you, both of you get to pick. Like like you guys get to you know. Uh, I that was I thought that was really interesting. Uh, I don't think we've seen that. Um, I, not that I remember from any of the tester. So that was really cool, and then. I'm going, I'm not, I'm not going branded today for some reason. And then, you know, after they picked their teams, you know, they went and they were at the beach. And since we kind of already knew what the challenge was going to be, because we see the previews, it was, it was, it was a cool, I mean, it was a cool challenge. I mean, like, and while they were doing it, um, when, um, Achilles and Sky Diddy were going, they did phenomenal. Like, they, their, um, their talk. Like, what they were saying to each other was great. Like, you know, their communication was great. Their t strategies was great. Um, I, that's exactly, like, uh, their strategy is how, exactly how I would have done it, probably. Because that's just the smartest way to do it is, you know, scavenge around. Um, especially for Sky Diddy, since he's got such long arms and long legs. Like, that was that was pretty funny. And that was, like, when he was, like... I, 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 I've noticed this. They use so much editing on him. Like, if you go back and watch the episodes, whenever he's, like, talking, there's some sort of, like, sound effect or, like, edit it or something. It's, like, I, I don't know if it's only him, but that's the person I've noticed it with most. It, it's really funny, like, and but it, I guess it's just because he says the funniest things that it, they just have to make it into some sort of edit. I don't know why they do it. It's just, I love that, though. And then, you know, so they did great, of course. You know, they got five objects in, I think, like, three minutes, if that, if I'm correct. Yeah, three minutes. Um, and they, I mean, they did really good. I was, uh, really impressed. Um, that, that, that's exactly, exactly how I said it, exactly how I would have done it. Then came Quasha Monster and Christy. Christy was doing great. I, Christy was doing great. But then, I hate to say this, because I love Quasha Monster so much. She's such an awesome person. Like, even watching her YouTube videos and everything. She's such an awesome person. And I was kind of rooting for her a little bit. Um, and it was just like, what the hell are you doing? I understand it's, I understand it's small. Like, you thought it was small items, but... That was just, it seemed like you were going really slow, you were going only around the outsides. It was just, I would have, it, it was, I just didn't really think the way she was doing it was 
for the best, and it showed not to be. Just, like, the way she was going at it just really confused me. Like, why do that? I, did, I, I was just really confused why she did that. And I was just, like, kind of screaming in my head, what are you doing? Like, if, I mean, of course, you, I'm not in that situation, so I don't know how I'm going to react to it, so I can't, you know, say anything bad about it, but I gotta say that probably wasn't. That, that was obviously the not the, the least smart thing you could have done. I mean, like... It obvious, like, honestly, I know, like, where she was coming from, and, you know, I don't know the nerve of what she was feeling, so, I mean, anything could happen. I, I, I don't know how I would have reacted in that situation, because I don't know how big the autumns are, I didn't know, like, I, if I was in that situation, I wouldn't have known, so, but anyway, um, that was just my thought of that, like, I, I, I wouldn't have done it like that. I don't think I would have. But and then and then of course Achilles and um, Suskaiden came on and I was like, are they gonna win this? I, I, I and because they were going fast, they were going, they were doing great. And then Achilles or um not Achilles, wow, um like, oh, reality. That's it, reality and Suskaiden. Did I say Achilles before? I might have. <laughs> um, but anyway, then um reality like just. just <laughs> he left the bottle on top. Oh, that was, that was like something straight off of a TV show. Like I, <laughs> I mean, I, I I hate to laugh at that because I, I mean, even though, like he he's probably not my favorite just because he, he's just like really cocky, which I'm like not cocky at all. So that kind of person is like the opposite of me. So that's probably why I'm like he's not my favorite. Not saying I don't like him because he's pretty funny, but um, you know. But I was, I was just like laugh. I was laughing. I hate to say that, but I was I was laughing so hard at that. It, was, it, it, it you know. Um, but that sucks. That that happened. I I mean, that sucks. And then, okay. So then, of course, Achilles and Scott did one. And then the other testers got an opportunity to um like say why they should also be able to go to Santa Monica Studio and you know do a tour of it. And then realities, you know, gag code, not, no. Ah, that, that does seem very childish, exactly like what the judges said. I, it does. It seems very childish and very, God, it's on my nose. <laughs> okay, it seems very childish. It, I, that was probably not the best thing you could have said. Uh, but I understand, you know, that joking mentality, his, his mind, you know, j the joking mentality. And then, uh, Siskaiden, I didn't, I don't even remember what she said, to be honest, um, but I knew they weren't gonna pick her, because... Well, I thought they might pick her because they might have seen her as, like, the weakest link because she's very loud and obnoxious. So maybe, you know, if they would have pulled her in there, it would have been easier to let the game developers be like, okay, we're not going to pick you for immunity. That's what, I, I honestly, I thought they were going to do that. I thought they were going to pick her for that because, or, um, Quadra or Christy because they did the worst. And then, and then, you know, when Christy went out, I don't remember what she said, but she got picked. Um, and I think that's, one, I think a big reason behind that might be because, you know, what she said, but also because she was on the losing team, and the judges still had that in mind, and, I don't know, like, that's probably not it, because then why would they pick Christy, because, not saying anything bad about Kawaja, but she cusses a lot, so, you know, if they wanted to do that, then they probably would have pulled her in there from that team, because they, she was on the bottom team, and she cusses a lot, which would probably leave a bad impression exactly like it did in the first episode when they were interviewing so I mean that that's probably how I would have thought of it like, like I probably like if I was in that situation and I really wanted to get you know I was like do or die like pick who I think is gonna do the worst I probably would have picked Quasha just because she did the worst in the thing and she cusses a lot so she obvious like she doesn't give um you know that sometimes that can be a bad impression so even though in her last review she did she could step it up and not cuss. I find that hilarious. Like you, but anyway, um, and then yeah, Christy got picked, and then they went, and I was like, oh, God of War four. It it's gotta be God of War four, cause I I'm pretty sure a couple months back there was like big leaked rumors of a God of War four, and then it seemed like they were playing it pretty assuringly, like to where they knew what to do. It, I mean, sure we don't get to see all of it, but it kind of seemed like they already knew what they were doing, or, you know, it seemed like they were, you know, doing the controllers kind of quick, so it's gotta be, it, it's gotta be God of War 4, or some other God of War, and if it's not God of War 4, it's another action game, because they were, it's just like the way they were going about it, and then, 
yeah, so then, you know, they got to interview each other, and, you know, I'll, I'll think all three of them did pretty good, even though <laughs> Sky Diddy obviously did the whole, like, it, I think it's hilarious. I, I, I love Sky Diddy. I'm gonna say that right now. He's awesome. <laughs> he, he just did the whole <laughs> Sky Diddy thing, <laughs> and that was hilarious, and then Achilles went in there, and he, he was really mature about it. I, I really liked the way he uh, handled it, because, like, just, I mean, sure, we didn't see the whole thing, but, like, what we did get to see, uh, he really... I really liked what he had to say about it. I mean, like, it was, um, it just seemed very good to me. And also, Christy, she did, she did good, too. I don't really remember as much as hers. I don't know why, but I, I she did good. Not as good as, obviously, Achilles, because uh, Achilles has just been stepping up, man. He's been doing, like, phenomenal in the past couple of episodes. Like, I didn't even notice him that much in the first couple of episodes until it got to the one where Ego got kicked. Then that one, he really stepped up. Like, you can tell he... He wants this. I can I can already tell, and, like, it's crazy, and, uh... But anyway, like, he's just... He, you know, did a great job, and obviously, he got elimination for it, and I, I was really happy about that, because I really like Achilles, because him... Honestly, I like everybody that's left. I mean, I'm not the hugest fan of... Sus I, I kind of like Skiskaiden, sort of, just because I'm a theater kid, too, so... But, I mean, she is kind of loud and obnoxious, but, you know, I don't really care, like... But, I mean, a lot of the people that are left I really like, so... But anyway, and then Elimination came, and I was like, could reality really go home? It's, it really, like, they really, like, it seemed like they were focusing on them, but then, again, I've seen this, like, this has happened before, where like, they'll focus on someone, and then, what? You're going home. What? It, it's crazy. It, it was really, like, I mean, they just, they did say a couple things to Quadra, but it kind of seemed like they were focusing on reality, and then... You know, yeah, they kicked Quaja, and I was, I was sad. I was really sad because I really like Quaja Monster. She's, she's cool, she's nice. I really like her, but, I mean, hey, she did, she did the worst, and that's plain and simple. I mean, so yeah. Anyway, guys, um, so this episode was fun to watch. I would definitely suggest go watching it if you haven't, and like, but I already told you if you haven't to not watch this episode. So everybody that has, has. And yeah, so more videos coming soon. Sorry about the lack of episodes for the Hello My Name is Steve. Well, you're probably happy because I know it seems weird right now, but don't worry, I'll explain it later. And then, yeah, so the more for that, I'm probably going to come with a couple more videos this week. And then, yeah, so that's about it, guys. Oh, and thanks to Achilles. Um, I didn't say what I said earlier because of this, but because uh, I really do think that I, I you have stepped it up. And I just want to say thanks for... Uh, clicking that subscribe button, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. And everybody else that has, I also appreciate that. It's just, I think he's the only one that has in the past couple of days. And there's no more comment box on the channels, so I couldn't really leave a post. So I was like, I want to say it in the video. So thanks, Achilles, for subscribing, man. And, uh, yeah. So that's about it. And I will see you guys later with some other videos. And I can't wait for the next episode of Tester. Well, so what were your thoughts on this episode of Tester? Leave it down below. See you guys later. Bye.